Hello and welcome to yet another Dragon PME tutorial. Way um, in today's tutorial, uh, today I'm going to show you how to install fonts. Because as many PC users know, you download a font, you unzip the font, you put the font in the fonts file in the Windows uh, folder on the C drive. Now, uh, okay, we're going to show you that if you go on the hard drive and whoa. Um, system perhaps uh, okay there's no fonts here uh, and, uh, right um it's not the same sorry pet but this is Mac not Windows so I'm going to show you how to install a simple font for a start I'm just gonna open my Firefox um, I've got this page open already um, it's called 1001 freefonts.com now um, I like this website because you can view each individual font and then you get to download it for Mac or for Windows. Um, basically what you do is you find a website such as this and you find a a font you like. It's pretty um, self-explanatory, I'm sure you've done it for Windows and you download it. Now I've got this one, what's it called, Captain Pod on the desktop here and you notice uh, it's a, just close that, it's a .sit file now some people are going to be like whoa what's a SIT file it's not zip and um, it's not raw it's SIT um, for those of you who are new to Windows um, sorry for those of you who's a, who are new to Mac OS X you'll find that there's a, a lot more um, dot blah 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 files for compression for example dot DMG dot SITX um, dot SIT dot zip etc um, all of these are just compressed files so if you need to open a .sit file, which is this one, um, you'll need to download something called, um, it's called Stuff It Expander. Now I'll just open my applications folder and go down so I'll show you what it looks like. Stuff It Expander, it's like this, it's called Stuff It. I think that was great when I first found out what it did, 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 <laughs> compression, stuff, just stuff it in a tiny little box. Anyway. Um, install that and you'll be able to open your SI, uh, SIT file. Simply double click and Stuff It Expander will open in the dock. Um, you didn't see but there was like a little um, like, like a, a, a bar that went from 0 to 100 percent but it's only a small file so it was pretty much instant. And you have your font on the desktop. Now usually the font um, has a little F on it but for some reason this one doesn't. Double click your font and you'll notice in the dock there's a something called font book and double clicking it opens it and it shows you what your font is like. Um, da -da -da, not installed. You click install and voila your font is fully installed. You notice this spinny thing here. Um, as soon as you see it up here your font is installed. Voila and you can either press Apple Q to quit or go font book quit font book and voila your font is installed. How easy was that? A simple case of downloading your font, extracting it, double clicking it, pressing install. I hope you've learned something new. Um, uh, there's nothing else I could really tell you, but that that program, font book, will probably be findable in Spotlight. And I'm sure you'll be able to delete your font if you don't want it. Um, I don't really want to delete it, to be honest. Ah, uh, a Chinese one. I'll delete a Chinese one. Why? Because I cannot speak Chinese. La 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 la. Medium. See if you can delete it. What do you do? Drag to the trash perhaps? Nope. You see, trial and error. Trial and error. You'll be able to delete it somehow. Drag to the trash? Nope. Delete button. Are you sure you want to delete it? Remove. There we go. Easy peasy. Just press backspace or delete button on your Mac and you can delete your fonts and organize them into things. For example, if you want to create your own, like for example, I'm going to make PME fonts and these can be my favorite fonts or whatever. You could uh, drag them and it's an organization of fonts really to be honest. Um, font book, I do recommend you give it a try. Looking through the options and stuff, I'm not going to tell you everything. Why? Because the best thing about using your Mac is working out how to do it. I hope you've learned something new today on a simple short version of Dragon PME tutorials. If you need a, a request or an email um, or, or anything, just drop me a line dragonpme at gmail.com or send me a comment on the YouTube thingamajig below. Hey, hey. Um, 
thank you very much. I hope I didn't bore you to death. Um, I hope you watch one of my tutorials again. Uh, thank you very much. Again, bye-bye.